Hey, what's going on, Casual Aquatic Sim? Welcome back. Do I have a surprise for you? I am so excited to unbox this, and I wanted to do it in video form. You see the tape still on it. You guys are going to watch this with me as I do it for the first time. No sneak peeks in the box. I've been waiting so long to get this guy. And I hope he's okay in there and everything like that. This is my first time ordering from Jay, J4 Flower Horns. His name is Jay Anoling. I will get his information in the description if after this video you guys want to get a hold of him. He has an awesome extensive stock list. But without further ado... Inside of this box should be an eel. Now, in my experience, I've tried to get a couple fire eels and they're never big enough or something happened and unfortunately they didn't make it. So I decided to try a whole different species of eel. Now, these are the only eels that truly inhabit fresh water. It can live in fully fresh or almost marine level. there was a surprise I was I, I thought he said he had a shirt for me I got a sticker but no the other surprise no he didn't okay so which one do we look at first how about the you oh yeah this is called a tiger eel, y'all. Now, it's gonna take him a little to get some coloration, and as he gets bigger, then he'll look even better. I can't believe this. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna set him back in here, though, so that he can kind of stay with the temperature for a minute. And this fella, I already know what this is without even seeing him yet. He's like, I'm throwing you a bonus now. I had asked him um, about another fish, but then I couldn't quite purchase it. You know, money was a little tight, and the eel alone was $120 plus shipping. He was uh, gonna give me a Tamensis bass, everybody. Look at this. This is a Datnoid. <laughs> oh my god, Jay. You're the best, man. Everybody, be sure to go check out Jay. Like, I think he's on, I know he's on the band app. I think he might be on YouTube. I'm gonna get all that information for you, but. I'm excited to get these guys acclimated and all of that good stuff. We'll have a recap at the end of this, so hang tight, y'all. So I was going to put him in the 135 with all the large cichlids, but I thought he was a look gonna be bigger. And when I had him acclimated in there, my cichlids were looking at him like a tasty treat. So until he gets bigger, and I know they ain't gonna try to eat him, he'll have to hang out in a 55 and grow out a little bit. This guy will get just as large as a fire eel they can get three foot almost, give or take. So, 
He is a major contender in my fish world now. As long as I can keep him alive and grow him up nice and healthy. There's a hole right there at the end. Uh, he's still kind of acclimating. Trying to see if he'll find that hole and come out by himself. Jay also was going to send a t-shirt and forgot. I told him I wasn't worried about the t-shirt. You sent me that bonus fish. But I've been working with Jay for a while, known him for a while. This was just my first chance to be able to actually purchase from him. So he done that as just a favor, a crazy favor. <laughs> like, wow. But if you do enough business with him and you know, you're all cordial, I'm sure he'll send everybody some gifts. Maybe not a dad Nord, but nonetheless. I am so excited about this dude. And here's the bonus little dude doing good. However, he might need to go to a different tank or I might need to pull a couple catfish out of here. They're small, they're sun cats, and they've never really, I've never seen them eat any fish. But I don't wanna lose them, even for being free. This is the sun cats that I'm talking about. So I went ahead and put a couple more hiding spots in the Datnoid tank just to be sure so that he has plenty of places to hide and get out of the way. As you guys saw, that tank has plants and driftwood and stuff like that. As you know, I put the eel down in the 55. That's only temporarily. I will move him as he gets bigger. I hope you guys were excited as I was about this. And maybe you'll follow me on my journey with raising him, or them, I should say. Please don't forget to go check out J4 Flower Horns. He is on Facebook and Band. I'm going to drop the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And as always, stay casual.